The Amity of the Bee and Butterfly In a beautiful flower garden, there lived a bee that was very eager to find flower nectar. He was also very agile in flying from one flower to another to set nectar. The bee always wakes up very early to be able to set more flower nectar than his rifle, the butterfly. Besides the bee, a butterfly also loved to suck nectar from flowers in that beautiful garden. Like the bee, the butterfly will also wake up very early to suck more flower nectar. The two will frequently fight if they meet while perching on the same flower. I found this flower first, so I am the one who can suck the nectar. No, you can't. This flower grows near my nest, so only I deserve to suck the nectar. That's the bee and the butterfly. They used to fight every day and scramble for the flowers in the garden. The other animals that inhabit the garden are tired of their fight. So, every time the bee and the butterfly fight, they don't care anymore. Oh, in a sunny morning, the bee and butterfly woke up as usual. But both of them didn't seem very excited because the flower in the garden had started to wither and the other flowers had not bloomed yet. There was only one flower that they could still suck the nectar from. How's this? There's only one flower's nectar that could be sucked. The bee must have sucked the nectar first. The bee also had the same thinking as the butterfly. He thought the butterfly had sucked the last flower's nectar. The butterfly must have sucked the last flower's nectar. What shall I do? They were thinking hard to find a way to suck flower nectar today. Then suddenly, both of them remembered what the deer said a few days ago about a garden where the flowers were almost blooming. The animals in the garden were gathering to celebrate the bonfire party. The deer, an intelligent and wise animal, also came to the event. I saw a garden where the flowers are almost blooming in the south. In another three or four days, the flowers there must have bloomed. We all have to go there, because there must be beautiful. The bee that remembered the dear words a few days ago immediately planned to go to the garden, which the deer said. I have to go to the new garden told by Dia yesterday. The flowers there must have started blooming now. I must hurry and leave now before the butterfly finds the garden. So the bee rushed out of the hive to look for the flower garden told by the deer. But he didn't know that the butterfly was getting ready to go to the new garden. The two animals flew out of their respective nest immediately. They are in a race against time to be the first animal to reach the new garden, told by the deer. But accidentally, the bee and the butterfly met on the way. Both of them finally speed up their flying. After arriving in the garden, told by the deer, the bee and the butterfly were silent. The deer was right. The flowers in the garden were already starting to bloom. The bee and butterfly were amazed to see the flowers blooming in the garden. Wow, this garden is so beautiful. The deer was right. There are so many flowers that have bloomed already. The nectar must be so sweet! <laughs> I can't 
can't wait to suck the nectar from the flowers in this garden. The bee and the butterfly looked at each other, then fought over the garden. The butterfly thinks that the flowers in the garden belong to her because she was the first to discover the garden. The butterfly even drove the bee away to find a new garden. But the bee didn't want to lose either. He thought he was the first to discover the garden, so the flowers in the beautiful garden belonged to him. first to find this garden. Then the flower in this garden are mine. You must not suck the nectars from the flowers in this garden. Go there and find a new garden. Shoo, shoo. I can't. This is my garden. I'm the first to discover this garden. You're the one to find a new garden over there. The bee and butterfly continued to fight until they felt weak because they had not taken breakfast yet. Finally, they decided to make peace for a moment and suck nectar together from the blooming flowers in the garden. Stop! If we keep fighting like this, we will die of thirst. It's better now we suck the nectar from the flowers here first. After that, we continue to talk about who has the right to own this garden. Well, I agree. After sucking the flower's nectar, we must return to this place again to discuss who deserved to own this flower garden. The bee and butterfly finally separated. They flew nimbly to suck the flowers they liked. After they felt full, they returned to the place they had determined. Hey, butterfly! I think we don't need to fight again to determine who deserves to own this garden. I have an idea. How about if we meet the deer? He is the wisest animal, right? He will determine who deserves to own this garden. Okay, I agree. But before that, we must promise to accept the decision given by the deer. No one can deny him. What do you think? Okay, I agree. So, the bee and butterfly left the garden. They flew to the deer's nest near a large tree at the forest edge. Arriving at the deer's nest, they soon met the deer sunbathing in front of the nest. Hey bee, hi butterfly. Where are you going? How come you two come to the forest edge together like this? We are looking for you, dear. Looking for me? Why are you looking for me? Yes, both of us are looking for you. We need your opinion. You are the wisest animal in this forest. We found the garden you told yesterday. And you must help us to determine the two of us who deserve to have the new flower garden. You guys have found the garden? The flowers blooming? Yes, the flowers have bloomed. That's why we need your help to determine who deserves to own the flowers in the garden. The deer looked surprised to hear the request of the bee and butterfly. He did not understand why only one animal should own the garden. He thought that the garden was enough for more than one animal to have. So, the deer finally suggested dividing the flower garden into two. One part for the butterfly and the other part for the bee. Why do you want to have the flower garden entirety? Isn't that flower garden large enough for both of you to have? Why don't you divide the garden into two parts? One part for the butterfly, and one part for the bee. The bee and butterfly looked at each other. They seemed to consider the advice of the deer just now. Secretly, they did not agree with the deer's suggestion. 
but they pretended to agree. Okay, I agree with the deer's decision just now. I also agree with your suggestion, dear. Then, let's go to the flower garden now. You have to follow us too. You determine the boundaries of each of our territories. So, the bee and butterfly returned to the flower garden. The deer also followed behind them. Arriving at the flower garden, the deer immediately took a dry twig nearby to make a line that divided the flower garden into two parts. Well, I've made a line divided this flower garden into two equal parts. The left side is for you, bee, and the right side is for you, butterfly. You don't have to fight anymore now. The bee and butterfly just smiled slightly. They secretly disliked getting only a half part of the flower garden, but they did not dare to refill it to the deer. Finally, the deer left the garden. The bee and butterfly also returned to their respective nests. At night, the bee looked anxious in the hive. He didn't like the butterfly also got a part of the garden he had found this morning. So, the bee set a plan to destroy the part of the butterfly flower garden so that his enemy could no longer suck the nectar. Yes, I will destroy the part of the butterfly flower garden so she cannot suck the nectar. Anyway, I don't want the butterfly to be able to enjoy the flower nectar. The whole garden should be mine. In that case, I'm going to bed now to get up early tomorrow to destroy the butterfly's flowers. The bee fell asleep immediately, but he did not know the butterfly was also planning the same thing in her nest. The butterfly intended to destroy the part of the bee flower garden so that the enemy could no longer suck the nectar. Anyway, the bee can't get a drop of nectar from the flowers in the garden, which should be mine entirely. Tomorrow, early morning, I will go to the garden and destroy part of the flowers. <laughs> the day has finally changed. Early in the morning, the butterfly and bee were ready with the equipment they would use to destroy the flowers in their opponent's garden. They sneaked into the enemy's garden to kill the flowers there. Because of too excited, the butterfly and bee even forgot to take breakfast. Arriving at butterfly garden, the bee destroyed the flowers immediately. He kicked and sawed off the flower stalks until they broke and the nectar-filled flowers fell to the ground. The bee did it with enthusiasm and singing. La 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 la, this garden will be mine. Butterflies will never suck flower or nectar anymore. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. Elsewhere, the butterfly has also arrived at the part of the bee garden. She destroyed the flowers that were blooming there. She was so enthusiastic about what she did. She didn't realize that the bee had also damaged her flower garden. After destroying the flowers in the enemy's garden was finished, the bee and butterfly intended to head to both garden parts. But suddenly, both of them were very surprised when they saw their garden had been damaged. The flowers fell on the ground, and they could no longer suck the nectar. Hey, butterfly! What are you doing in my garden? 
Why did you destroy the flowers in my garden? You too! Why did you destroy the flowers that were blooming in my garden? The bee and butterfly were fighting again, but the fight was known by the deer who accidentally passed near them. The deer was surprised to see the beautiful garden had now been destroyed. The flowers fell to the ground and made the garden become not gorgeous anymore. Stop! Why are both fighting in this early morning? And why has this beautiful garden become like this now? It's all the bee's fault! He destroyed blooming flowers in my garden! You are also guilty. You have destroyed the part of my garden. Stop it! You're both guilty! Now that this garden has been destroyed, what do you want? You can no longer suck nectar from this flower in this garden. The butterfly and the bee fell silent. They both realized the mistake they had made. They regret that there are no more flowers to suck, even though they haven't had breakfast. I'm sorry, butterfly. I admit I was wrong. Me too, Bee. I have destroyed the flowers in your garden. Then the butterfly and bee approached the deer. They would like to ask for the deer advice again. We had to admit our fault, dear. What shall we do now? What shall we do to get flowers nectar? Good. If you had admitted your fault, follow me now. I know a new garden with blooming flowers, but you must promise me you won't destroy that garden anymore. Okay, dear, we promise. We promise to get along and live together forever. So the deer, bee, and butterfly left the damaged flower garden. Then they found a new garden with blooming flowers. Finally, the butterfly and the bee are no longer enemies and live in peace forever. The end.